and gentlemen, now I'm going to get a little confusing with you after I got you off on a tangent. Now after I got you off on a tangent, um, I will get you a little bit confused here. Um, by now looking at a problem, we have 9 divided by q equals 15 over 5. Ooh. So, okay, well now Mr. McLogan, if we're going to think about this inverse operations, what's happening to the variable? Well now the variable is dividing into a number. So what can I think about what's happening to the variable? Now, fortunately for you, we did already talk about cross multiplication, right? So you can look at this problem and say, uh, I don't know how to do it those other two ways you showed me, but I know I can cross multiply, right? And that's probably what you'd want to do for this problem because your variable is Q, which is on the denominator. Is 9 on top or P? That is a 9, oh, and that is a Q. the other way. <laughs> I, I, I thought you might get Q because the 9 and the Q. But um, anyways, you can just cross multiply. Since you have a proportion, an equation equal to an equation, you can cross multiply. So 9 times 10 is 90 equals 15 Q. Divide by 15, divide by 15, Q equals 4. Not 4. All right, now there is another way though to solve this, which I do want to at least address to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we already talked about when we have fractions, we don't like to have fractions, right? Didn't we say we don't want fractions? Right? And when, getting, when we have fractions, we can eliminate the fractions by multiplying by the L, C, D. Yeah, the least common denominator. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can do the same thing. The least common denominator between 10Q or 10 and Q is 10Q. So if you multiply by 10Q on both sides, the Qs eliminate, the 10s eliminate, and you're left with 90 equals um, 15 Q. Then divide by 15. Q equals 6. All right, so there are two different ways. I know you guys will probably prefer the cross multiplication method, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want you to understand where cross multiplication comes through. It comes through solving a proportion, not multiplying fractions, right? Multiplying fractions, we just multiply across. Cross multiplication is just a, a nice method for solving a proportion, okay? Because you can do it this algebraically as well. All right, there you go. So, what I would like to do now is